got a very intriguing story to talk to y'all about. It's about a 16 year old teenager by the name of Jeremy Wade Dale. Back in January 8th, 1991, at 10 in the morning, Jeremy Wade Dale was late for his class. So he walked into his English classroom and he was approached by his teacher by the name of Miss Barnett. So Miss Barnett told Jeremy, I need you to go to the principal's office and bring the uh, attendance slip because you missed multiple days of class. So Jeremy Waddell, he went to his uh, principal's office and um, instead of going to his principal's office, he um, went into his locker room and he, he put out his 357 Magnum and put it into his pocket. And then he walked back to his classroom and Miss Barnett told him, Jeremy, did you bring the slip? So Jeremy said, yes, ma'am, I brought the slip. And I also brought what I was looking for. So Jeremy Waydale pulled out a 357 caliber Magnum. He walked in front of 30 students in front of the classroom along with his teacher. He got the 357, put it in his mouth and he pulled the trigger. He blew his brains out. There were 30 students in the class. They got freaked out. There was blood everywhere around the classroom. See, when you're 16 years old, a lot of kids nowadays, they never see nothing like that. It's kind of like a brutal, you know, murder killing. So the police came and, uh, they tried to revive Mr. Jeremy Waydale, but he, sadly to say he was already dead. At that time, Jeremy was dealing with a lot of depression and anxiety because his mother and father were going through a, a divorce and a custody battle of him. His father got custody of Jeremy. Jeremy was also uh, attending psychological classes and counseling because he had a previous history of trying to commit suicide and also he had a drug abuse problem. He was smoking marijuana and taking opioids, you know, the drugs, stimulant drugs. So sadly to say, uh, Jeremy Waydale found an easy way out, so he killed himself. So I'm making this video to let every parent out there know if you have a teenager make sure you show attention and make sure you show love to your kids because if you don't show love to your kids or if you don't get them help tragedies like this can happen when kids commit suicide and make sure you get your kid help and uh and after Jeremy's death the lead singer of Pearl Jam Eddie Better wrote a song called Jeremy in tribute to his life and death. It was amazing because in 1992, the song Jeremy became a top 10 hit back in 1992. So yeah, man, um, make sure you show your kids love, pay attention to your kids because your kids, they want to see the love face to face. Kids, want to see it they don't want to hear it make sure you show your kids love and um, rest in peace to Mr. Jeremy Waydell God bless I know you up in heaven I know God forgave you you know this video goes out to all the kids who are suffering from depression if you need help if you need counseling, I'm going to leave a hotline so y'all can call the hotline number if you need help with any suicide, suicidal thoughts. And Mr. Hollywood Elwood coming from the Wrestling Cemetery in North Dallas. Thank God I'm alive. I'm not alive, but I'm alive by the grace of God. And 
If y'all need any help finding a certain grave at any cemetery, make sure you shoot me a message and um, you know donations are greatly appreciated. And uh, have a good day and subscribe my channel. God bless.